we are doing the first principle number one the first principle is given by in other words you're writing gradient m stands for gradient equals to f dash that dash means gradient okay f prime maybe you have seen it before equals to we write the word lim lim means limit we're supposed to write limit in full we write it in short and then we say h we put an arrow and we put a zero meaning h approaches or h it's becoming or h tends to zero those are the words it's a way of saying what if h was zero you know right then you're gonna write f of x plus the h minus f of x and then you are going to divide everything by the h now this equation it looks like it's complex it's complex no it's not look this is exactly the same as doing this when you're doing the normal gradient for the straight line you've got y2 minus the y1 do you remember that mm -hmm. and then you are going to divide that by x subscript 2 minus x subscript 1 it is exactly the same it's exactly that it's exactly that so that means f of x plus h it's your y2 f of x it's your y1 all right so f of x y1 it is the original equation that they gave you the one that you were looking at in the question paper all right so this is called using the first principle or the formula but they love the word first principle we good ne? all right now let's say they tell you they say determine f prime or determine the gradient of now they give you an equation let's call it um f of x for now equals to let's write it as um 3x squared plus uh i'm gonna go 4x i'm gonna make it a little bit complicated then plus one this is the original they will give it to you so i say write it like this and just say dash 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 call it equation number one because that's where it's gonna go to the y1 we good ne? all right actually when i simplify this whole thing here this equation myself i actually write it like this i say f prime x equals to limit which is much easier you're gonna love it and then h approaches zero then i write number two meaning equation number two minus equation number one and then divide that by the h that's what you need so you've got equation one which is this yellow one we good now yeah. all right now all you need is equation number two that's all you need and then you've already won this thing it will make absolute sense to you so i would prefer you think in terms of this because it makes it very good all right now this f of x plus h it's telling me wherever there is an x here there's an x here x squared there is another x it must be removed and be replaced by something new which is x plus h so i'm gonna write the new equation where x is supposed to be i'm gonna leave open brackets this is where x was before all right so when we come to here you can see there's an x there so that means we are going to say f of i open the big bracket you know here belongs the x ne? i open the space and i say equals to i say three i open the brackets that's where x was and then plus the four that's where the x was then i say plus the one so that means now in place 
of where x was, you now put x plus h. It's a new thing. All right? Mm -hmm. So I'll put x plus h here, and I'll put x plus h there. I'll put x plus h there. So this is going to be my equation number two. You good, ne? But I prefer to simplify this equation before I can put it there. In other words, I square the bracket and multiply inside, make it look good first. Do that. It's, 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 it, it's, it's always good. So before I can call it two. So we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to write this is equals two. Now, you know how to square the, 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 the binomial, like x plus h. Am I right? When I square that x, it becomes x squared. We good, ne? But I'm going to times it by the 3 after. So it will be 3x squared. And then it will be x times h, x plus x times h. It will be 2xh in the middle times by the 3. So it's plus 6xh. Then I square the h. It will be h squared. But then times it by 3. Then plus 3h squared. Aha. Now I'm using the 4 to multiply inside the bracket. It's going to be 4x plus 4h and then plus what? The 1, isn't it? So this is now my equation number 2. Then I can put it there minus the other one. All right. So let me go white. So I'm going to go f prime or f dash x equals 2. I'm going to write limit, and then h approaches 0. Equation number 2, I need to take this blue one. So I'm going to simply copy it myself because it's easy when I'm working here. So there is the blue one, which is number 2. We good, ne? Then we say minus number 1. When you say minus, after the minus, put it in the bracket. We good, ne? Whatever it's coming, it's this, the yellow one. Put it in the bracket because the minus will affect it. So it's going to be minus into 3x squared plus 4x and then plus the 1, close the bracket. And then we need to divide whoops, everything by the h. Isn't it right? All right. So which means all over the h are we happy did you understand what we did now i had to find equation one well it's already given to me so i had to get equation two then i say two minus one don't forget to put it in a bracket the other one over the h simple that's it then you have one watch now what's going to happen the yellow one it must cancel completely when I open the bracket, it has to cancel. It has no other choice. All right? All right. So let me copy this because that's where the, the yellow one is going to come. Because it's, it's easy for me, so I'm going to copy this and then paste the next step here. So I'm pasting this one here. Remember the next step, you multiply the yellow one by a negative. Isn't it right? All right. Yes. So you have negative 3 x squared negative 4x negative 1. I get it. Then I said the yellow, the original one, number 1, it must cancel completely. Every time when you do this thing, if the number 1 does not come cancel completely, you made a mistake. That's why I'm keeping it yellow so that you can see all the yellow will go. Watch now. This is 3x squared positive. Ne? This is minus 3x squared. Can you see they cancel? Uh -huh. Next one, you got minus 4x here, ne? You got plus 4x, yes, they cancel. And a positive one, and then that one there. There you go, now you can see. All right, so I'm going to put it on the other side here, so that you can actually, okay, let's, let's put it here. All right, now the next thing is going to happen. There is something that's going to cancel also. So you have f of x um, equals to f prime x, I mean to say, its limit, and then h approaches 0. What's left now is that 6, that's right, plus the 
three h squared plus the four h is any right and then all over the h i says number one the original must cancel completely number two the h at the bottom you should be able to cancel it because you'll take out a common factor here we good ne? Mm-hmm. all right so meaning you're gonna have f prime x equals to limit and then h approaches zero so you're gonna write the h outside and then the six x h becomes six x we good ne? Mm-hmm. and then plus three h we good ne? Mm-hmm. and then plus the four close the parenthesis or the brackets all over the h now the h cancels the h if the h doesn't cancel also you make a mistake original must cancel h at the bottom must go also ne? then you're home sweet home now now you are there all right let me copy it and put it on the other side so that it's so clear for you to see it now after you have cancer your step your stage you are now at this step that says f prime x equals to limit and then h approaches zero you are now left with 6x plus 3h then plus the 4 that's what you left with ne limit h approaches zero it means we need to substitute zero in the equation but we haven't done it as yet you good as long as you keep on writing it it means you haven't put the zero as yet the moment you put the zero here you now drop limit h approaches zero so this part will now you'll drop it you good ne? so what i'm about to do you're supposed to do it i'm saying in pencil are you listening what i'm saying in pencil I'm writing in red. So you are going to say f prime x equals to. Now you put zero where the h is, ne? Li- the limit h approaches, you don't need it anymore. You go 6x, you go th- plus 3 in place of the h you put a zero and then plus the 4. This is what I mean. You need to put zero where the h is. but they don't want you to show this step the teachers but that's exactly what you are doing we good ne mm-hmm. so at the end your final answer become f prime x equals to you know 3 times 0 is 0 ne mm-hmm. so you left with 6x plus the 4 so do the red step but don't show it in the book okay just do it in pencil first so that you can know what will be the final answer then you're finished this is your final answer now you have used the first principle we good